Hi, I'm Dr. Dan, talking to you from a Vitamin Pro, and we're discussing a little bit about GABA basics. We're going to keep this real simple. Um, the reason you want to know a bit more about GABA is going to help you uh, choose supplements and diet that will help you sleep better and also uh, maybe reduce some of the anxiety during the day and give you more, uh, more good energy. So neurotransmitters, as you know, are how neurons talk to each other. They don't talk, speak directly, but they have to use these little chemical messengers, kind of like passing notes in study hall. So this is, um, or in class. So GABA um, is one of the inhibitory neurotransmitters. There are two different types, excitatory and inhibitory, but the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter that, that our brain uses is, uh, is GABA. So what would cause GABA problems in a brain? You know, anything contributes to brain inflammation will can well can affect GABA levels. Now, brain inflammation can be caused by a whole host of um, sources. Could be uh, you know toxins in your environment. Could be uh, a poor diet. You know, there are a lot of different reasons. But to help people get through this inflammation process as they try to heal, we recommend some basics like fish oils. You know, get make sure you get your EPA and DHA. You know, that's critical for brain function. Um, other things like phospholipid can be a big help. And we also use uh, vitamin D3. And uh, as far as diet goes, uh, a very common contributing factor is gluten. Now, this isn't universal, but it is true enough that I bring it up. And gluten sensitivity can um, can certainly cause it, cause brain problems in in certain um, in certain people. So we've we've seen uh, we've seen enough people who've gone on a gluten-free diet and get better brain function. So we uh, so again I I mentioned that um, the company that we work with most commonly to help regulate GABA is Neuroscience, and they formulated a, a product called Cavanase that we use um, pretty routinely for insomnia type problems. Now, cavanase contains two primary ingredients, taurine and 4-amino-3 phenobutyric acid. Now, taurine is uh, an amino acid, and it's got some inhibitory properties of its own right, but we, we use it because it acts as a GABA activity enhancer, it aids in GABA synthesis, prevents GABA breakdown, and it, and it, and it uh, blocks GABA reuptake. So it's a reuptake inhibitor, like many drugs work. Um, on that same principle. And 4-amino-3 phenylbutyric acid, it supports GABA receptors and you know, helps the GABA receptors be more efficient. And both of those cross the blood-brain barrier quite efficiently, so, so uh, they get in, get in and do their job uh, quite nicely. Um, so as far as uh, how we use that, usually a couple maybe two to four of those at night will uh, will do the trick. They're small capsules. And some people prefer Apex Energetics Gabatone. You know, it does something similar. And Apex, very uh, an excellent company, so we won't argue if, if you prefer that over Cavanese, although Cavanese is our, our first choice usually for these things. Um, now, just as a side note, uh, just Addressing GABA usually isn't enough. Usually you're going to have to address the serotonin issues. Uh, if you have GABA issues, you probably have serotonin issues as well. So you will need to address those too. But that's uh, another video. So anyway, thanks a lot for listening. Hopefully that was helpful for you.